Hey, I'm Jeff from BK, and here's what's on Hot Me 7 Now. Is Drake a living legend? Let's debate because he just added another feat to his long list of accomplishments. Drizzy now has 35 top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100, surpassing the Beatles after his new track Money in the Grave with Rick Ross debuted at number 7. Only Madonna has more Hot 100 top 10s than Drake with 38. And with the way things are going for him, it looks like it'll happen soon. And it feels like Willow Smith's comments about her sexuality hit close to home for some folks. She sat down with her mom on the digital show Red Table Talk and revealed that she likes both men and women and explained why a monogamous relationship wouldn't work for her because she wants to be free. Check it out. If your intention is to create more love, more understanding, more community, more compassion in your life, then I'm all for it. But if your intention is to just have sex all the time and it's with not whoever. with whoever you want that just doesn't sit well with me that's not aligned with my purpose right so i really couldn't see myself in a quadruple i mean anything could happen but personally male and female that's all i need well there it is and speaking of willow her parents will and jada are executive producers of sprinter a movie about a jamaican teen who's a talented high school track and field runner now the film is directed by Storm Salter. Storm has directed music videos for Chronics, Arcade Fire, and recently captured visuals for Jay-Z and Beyonce's On The Run 2 World Tour. His photography has been published in Rolling Stone Magazine and The Fader, and actually his first critically acclaimed film, Better Must Come, was distributed by Ava DuVernay. But recently, his new film, Sprinter, racked up a ton of awards at the American Black Film Festival, as well as other festivals all around the world. Check out this exclusive clip. I'm going to America to help our family. Not in life. You seem to have come out of nowhere. Now you're being hailed Jamaica's next big sprinting sensation. Last night, rocking was a breath. So I make some money. You're on a dangerous path. No man can outrun the choices he makes. Oh my God, that clip was so amazing. I'm so excited to see the film. And luckily for you guys, I have Storm Salter, the director of Sprinter, sitting right next to me. What's up, Storm? I'm great, thank you. So I feel like this film is going to tug at my heartstrings when I watch it. Yeah. And I'm sure you heard that a lot from people, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, every all across the world, you've won film festivals for it. People are talking about it. Like I said earlier, you swept the American Black Film Festival. Yeah. So clearly, this is a film to watch. I guess let's talk about why you wanted to share this story and being that you're also a Jamaican native, I'm yeah. sure that's one of the reasons, yeah. but like what, why, why else? Well, a few things. Um, I see track and field in this instance as a vehicle to tell a story about a modern Caribbean family, mm -hmm. um, to tell a story about a family dealing with issues of immigration um, and just following a young boy who's, who's turning into a man and trying to figure out what direction to move in. So. For me, it's like sport is always an amazing metaphor for, for life and obviously competition and how uh, and achieving. Um, and uh, there's so many things that we're kind of dealing with now that I wanted to touch on, losing a parent, um, not being able to see a family because of immigration, and just what it takes to win. Right. Um, all of those things together, I thought Sprinter was the perfect vehicle for that. And clearly it resonates with people. I mean, I, we said it's off camera, but like sports stories or like touches my soul in any other way it's crazy uh, so it actually is executive produced by will and jada yeah. who we love 
How did that come to be? How did you guys uh, me link up to distribute this film and second release this film? Yeah, man. So the film was um, I was in development for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got to this point where the script was perfect. My producer Rob Miller had been working with them, and uh, they asked, "Hey, what do you guys have going?" And we were able. To Wait, Will and Jada asked you guys that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, you're a pretty a big deal already. You know, <laughs> there's, there's Will and Jada, and then there's. A team, of course. Okay, so, I mean, you know, so, yeah. You know, At least they reached yeah. out to you, right? Yeah, man, of course. No, th that was, it was amazing. And they yeah. asked what was happening. The script was ready. We put it in front of their team. And mm -hmm. um, I believe that the script was sent to them, like, today. And the next day, they, they called and said, this is something we want to do. And what was their reaction after seeing the film? Um, yeah, I mean, they, they I think that they really loved it. They said it was great. They um, see the value, like, the, the, the voices. The, I think the power with this movie is that... We're trying to like change the narrative of folks coming from the Caribbean. Um, also, you know, we're seen in all these extremes and all these stereotypes. And the, the thing for me is to, if I'm gonna address a stereotype, I'm gonna try to turn it on its head or blow it up, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And uh, that's not what we're used to all the time, especially coming from Jamaica. We're kind of used to the, the images and the style and the energy that you know of Jamaican people. And I want to mm -hmm. kind of enhance our story. Uh -huh. You know, I want to kind of broaden the scope of who we think we are as Caribbean people or as immigrants to America or as um, champions on the, the track. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're mm -hmm. a lot more than, than just what you might think. And speaking of track, Usain Bolt is in the film as well, yeah. right? Which yeah. is the fastest man alive ever, yeah, I think, ever. in history, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, he might have even ran in here. We didn't even know about yeah. it. But um, also David Allen Greer is in the film. Yeah. And how was that? I'm sure it was fun times on set. Oh, yeah. Uh, David is <laughs> hilarious. He's amazing. He's obviously uh -huh. a legend. Mm -hmm. um, it was really great for all the other actors that are kind of coming up to be working with him as well. Mm -hmm. But one thing about that man, yo, he does not run out of energy. He's always making jokes. He's an amazing singer. He's always singing. Whenever singing? The crew, yeah. yeah, man. The guy will just sing, like, really good. <laughs> oh, wow. And when uh, the crew would be, like, tired late at night on set, and my dude would just go on the radio and just be running jokes, cracking everybody up. Um, so he was great. And then Usain, um, I've had the opportunity to work with Usain for a few years, working on his commercials, kind of working my way up as someone to collaborate with him. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I was at a point to give the ass, and can you play a role in this film? And um, he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was a big strength, the fact that Bolt was connected to the film and was going to be in it. Mm -hmm. That helped to drive a lot of the energy to um, bring, bring folks on board as well. So and he's I think a big part of this. And I think that's what it's about Jamaica, too. It's the yeah. vibe and the energy. I already told you this. Like, I love Jamaica. Yeah. One day, <laughs> I hope to have a house out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Chilling on the beach yeah. and yeah. ocean and just yeah. eating and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, I guess, what's something you want people to take away from this film after seeing it? I, aside from the Jamaican culture, which we all love. Um, what I want people to take away from this is the importance of family. And mm -hmm. family might be your biological family, or it might just be the folks that you surround yourself with, or the folks who are there for you for that moment when you fall down. Mm -hmm. I want to show families moving apart and coming back together, mm -hmm. and people maybe letting people down, but then building them back up as well and finding ways to step back in and prove who you are. I think that's what family is really about. Mm -hmm. I think we kind of have you know, the ideas of it are changing in public's perception. Mm -hmm. But it's the people who are there for you, whether it's your, your friends, whether it's your gang, whether it's your school team, whether it's your coach, this is just the reality. We all need family, so let's yes. put emphasis on that and um, not try to play down the importance of that for just the people having to run around and hustle and, and for the economy. You know, it's, a, it's important to come back to the truth of what family is. That's right. It's your home. It's your center. Yeah. No matter what's going yeah. on in the world, you can always come back home, yeah. and that should be your peace at all times. Definitely. And if you want, and that's where your guides should come from. That's where your guidance should be, because everyone needs people to ask questions, to rely on, to have there, to have your back. We all need it, or we may make the wrong decisions. And I wanted to kind of emphasize that with this story. Now, as a director and a screenwriter, do you go back at home yeah. to home to get inspiration when you want to center yourself before yeah. you <laughs> hit the set or before yeah. you create your next movie? Yeah, well, I'm really a country boy. Um, okay. I've lived in a number of cities, and why I appreciate the city life, I love to be in the countryside. Um, mm -hmm. I love to be at home in the mountains where I live now, to see the scale and the scope of the mountains, and um, to just get away. And uh, my, I grew up in Negril. Um, I grew up on the seaside, and that played a big role in inspiring me um, and my sense of adventure. 
I do return for sure to see my family, but also just to build up on the vibes. Mm -hmm. And talk about vibes. Yes, <laughs> Sprinter is a vibe, and it's actually all over the U.S. now. So if people want to see it, they can, right? Let's talk about that. And you mentioned a cool way for you to get the film screened in your city if you wanted to, right? Yeah. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so we have a theatrical on-demand um, platform. So if you go to sprintofthefilm.com, that's our website. If you go to theaters and tickets, you can put your zip code in and it'll show you partici to participate in cinemas that are in your city, in your area. There are literally hundreds of participating cinemas, AMC, Landmark. Um, and basically you can just request a screening at your local cinema and once a certain percentage of folks in your area also request that screening or also show interest or reserve a ticket then the screening is triggered um we provide you all the social media content to put it on your socials and promote it and get your friends to join wow. so it's quite easy and the beauty of it is you know you can bring it anywhere it's not just new york la i mean we've shown in over 50 u.s cities and it's climbing we've done hundreds of screenings so um, if you want to see this film on the big screen, you can bring it to you. Amazing. Yeah, That's so, so dope, so innovative. I've never, ever heard anything like this before. So I think it's so fire, and it's a perfect way to end Caribbean Heritage Month because if you didn't know, June is the month for that. So oh, yeah. make sure you check I out Sprinter. all year. I thought what? Were just a Caribbean Heritage year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it should be, no? Yeah, Forget the months, right? It seems like 2019 is our Caribbean heritage year. for, for Facts. <laughs> factual, factual. Storm, yeah. thank you so much for stopping yeah, by. We appreciate you. We, you we love you. And I'm excited for all the projects you have coming out in the future, which I know you're working on some. And um, when they're out, come back and, you know, we can do this again, sit on the no couch doubt. and catch I'll a vibe. Here. I'll be here. All right, that's Hot 97 Now. If you want more of this, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube or our social channels below, or just hit up hot97.com. See you next time.